Tonight at 8, Vallejo High School is about to get a new mascot. Thornton Representative Joe Salazar says he will introduce a bill impacting schools with Indian-themed mascots. Now, just today, D.C. City Council voted unanimously to approve a measure urging the Washington Redskins to change its nickname because of its, quote, racist and derogatory nature. Uh, unless you're one of the first Americans... A Native American, you came from someplace else. I am not a relic from Antiques Roadshow. I am a living and human being, and I am not a mascot. A mascot is defined as a person, animal, or object adopted by a group as a symbolic figure, especially to bring them good luck. There are five professional sports teams in the U.S. that use Native Americans as racial and derogatory mascots. There are 2,129 high school, college, semi-pro, and amateur teams that reference Native Americans. 92% are high schools. We can't be seen as doctors and lawyers and artists and musicians and all of, all of those that everybody else is viewed as. And so it gives a sense of invisibility, like that's from the past and they were so honorable and we want to use them as our mascot because they have a warrior-like spirit. Forgetting the whole fact that why was that spirit there to begin with? Well, they're fighting for survival, they were fighting colonization. Seeing these mascots used every day contributes to Native Americans feeling like they're irrelevant and not able to offer anything to society. Mascots mask the way non-natives see Native Americans and allow us to mock them and their traditions rather than see them realistically being laughed at every Sunday and Saturday and Monday night football and now, you know, Friday night football and baseball. This has an effect on Indian kids' morale. Uh, we have the highest suicide rate among young people. Ever since colonization, Native Americans have faced many challenges. Many Native kids turn to alcoholism and drugs, which leads to unemployment, poverty, and even suicide. Native Americans have the highest rate of suicide out of any race. Instead of turning to drugs, Blue Wakpa turned to activism. When I went into a high school that had an indigenous mascot and I was seeing people who were or were not indigenous portraying my people in a stereotypical way, I didn't feel like it was appropriate for me to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance it was that the flag itself represented the blood of my ancestors and it represented the colonization of all the other nations that the United States occupies. I had just graduated from um, the University of Arizona in Tucson and returned to Vallejo where I was born and where my family has, has resided and, and worked. And I caught some news that they were having a debate at the school board. I wanted to go there and bring my PhD and put it to use representing indigenous people in a coherent way in a public setting. Well, people started mobilizing to change the mascot in sports decades ago. The first instance of a college mascot change was when the University of Oklahoma dropped the Little Reds in 1970. A lot of attention and focus is being placed on the Washington football team. They're referred to as the team named Redskins, uh, which to Indian people and many of our friends who know the term and its origins uh, find it to be uh, a racist based and uh, referencing to a period that includes U.S. policies of the genocide of Indian people. The term redskin is a racial slur. If the Washington Redskins wanted to use an accurate description of redskins as a mascot, they would need the bloody scalp of an Indian. This problem is not only present in professional sports, but racist mascots are also present in about 1,958 high schools across the country. One school that recently changed its mascot is the Vallejo High Red Hawks. The mascot change was initiated by our elder wounded knee many years ago. So the school district was already familiar um, about the fight from native peoples in the community to remove the mascot. Uh, I think it just as time evolved and 
and, and people start to learn and things change and there's a lot more uh, information now with uh, social media and the internet uh, that they're becoming more aware and so the school district they voted unanimously to, to remove it and I think that they took responsible action it took an act of courage and bravery there was a lot of backlash from the community uh, especially from the alumni older alumni um, but Wounded Knee initiated that struggle many years ago and we were given the great honor of being able to continue his work and participate in that removal. And after the school board voting unanimously to change the mascot, there was a lot of emotion in the room and even a small celebration. I think that not every tradition needs to be upheld. I think that sometimes that traditions outgrow themselves. And I think this one is long overdue. If somebody's offended uh, about our, about our previous mascot, then that's the, it's the right thing to do to change it. We're not in the business of offending anyone. We're in the business of educating. And what we're seeing in the school districts is that the knife has been removed, but there hasn't been any healing. And that is part of the transition of decolonization, is that we want to pull the knife out of the backs of indigenous people, but we also want to be a source of medicine, a source of healing for indigenous people and for people who are impacted by the, by the legacy of colonization in the school system. Once, once the change was made and the new mascot was announced, I think people kind of resolve, were resolved within themselves to, to just accept the change. Uh, we're in the community quite a bit, and I, I haven't heard a lot of talk about it. It was, I think it was just kind of like, oh, well, it's changed, and so that's it, kind of an attitude. Vallejo is on its way, I believe, to uh, establishing a, a good model from step one, from making the name change to everything that, that goes on to have a good blend and hopefully sustain a parent, activist, and school district tripartite relationship. I think it is good to change the mascot. Yeah. Most people think it's good, but some people like to be Apache, so everybody hates Red Hawks right now, but as the year go on, they're gonna start liking it, so. I'm from the Vita Valley Jack. Vallejo, Vallejo. Good with the fist and pistol play. Vallejo, Vallejo. Rep the bank till I'm old and gray. Vallejo, Vallejo. But at the end of the day, I'm a Vallejo, Vallejo. I'm from the Vita Valley Jack. Vallejo, Vallejo. Good with the fist and pistol play. Vallejo.